you don't know what Mother Nature's gonna do when you do have a fire. Non-fluorinated firefighting. Yeah. Product, a new firefighting phone product. So AFFF is the stuff that we've been using for 30 plus years. It um, has a chemical in it called PFOS, which is a forever chemical. It um, never breaks down in the environment, it's kind of like glitter. Once it gets out there, it's really hard to clean it up and get it all back. It takes over 10,000 years, they estimate, to start breaking down, but then we just keep putting it back into the environment. The increase in cancer rates for firefighters has skyrocketed, you know, over the last 30 years since they've started using this stuff. It's just, it's bad all the way around. It's being banned pretty much universally. Um, a lot of Europe, um, Australia. There's 24 states in the U.S. that have started to phase out or complete ban of AFFF. Texas is not far behind. It's just real bad stuff. You know it's bad stuff when they're banning it worldwide. Without any further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Mark Holder. He's with America Styrenics. We have changed out all of our AFFF with Green Sheet, and that's corporate wide. The alternative formulas are not as effective as AFFF, so it's taking them about twice the time to put a, the fire out and twice the product, which is very expensive and also a huge risk for facilities. We'll tell you that I asked Tom for every figure, every density, every, I wanted to know the weight of the bubbles, man. I was trying to find out everything I could. That's one of the reasons why our product is top choice, is that we perform as well as AFFF or as close to AFFF as, as you can get. I will tell you that with all the concerns you have uh, with the environment. Fully non-toxic and we're biodegradable in five days. This phone was not the concern. <laughs> <laughs> One of the demonstrations here this morning, I was standing next to a firefighter. He looked at his watch, he said, wow, two minutes, that's pretty good. clear in the video, it was uh, not what we anticipated. The highest wind gust was 25 miles per hour, sustained wind 17 miles per hour, average wind six miles per hour, thunderstorms. They set up with the wind at their back. You want the foam to flow with the air, you know. Well, as soon as they lit that thing, took a uh, 180 degree turn across the, the foam spray. The wind is pushing the fire this way, our foam is flowing this way. Happen that way, which, will, which is exactly what it'll do and when you're out there, when, you know, when, it, when it's live, you know. You want to, the foam to sort of be sprayed in the back and the front, all sides of the fire and sort of swirl around, come together, create a blanket that completely snuffs out that fire and prevents it from reigniting. The gentleman that was out there testing the vapor suppression ability of our foam, it also is self-healing. Then he broke the foam blanket, um, stirred up, and waited for the foam to reheal, the film and the foam to reheal, and then he tested um, if there was any vapors present after, and there was none. And there was definitely still fuel 
in the tank. As firefighters are walking through the foam, extinguishing the fire in a real world scenario, our foam is going to continue to cover up those footsteps and make it so that a fire does not reignite. We have rebranded to S-Triple-F, synthetic film forming foam.